welcome back. So, we will continue the discussion in the previous class on stability analysis of non-linear autonomous systems. <coughs> and uh, last time we saw that uh, at the hyperbolic equilibrium points, uh, the linear stability analysis implies the non-linear stability analysis. So, we may now concentrate uh, on non-hyperbolic equilibrium points and this will be handled uh, by the use of Lyapunov function. It is a very simple tool, but very powerful tool as we see it. So, before I go into <coughs> the details, so let me just mention a reference uh, Takashi Kanamaro There is a nice write up by Takashi Kanamaro on Duffing and Van der Paal oscillators. So, this is available on the web, it is a scholarpedia dot org. So, you can get much more information on this dumping and enterpol oscillators, last time we discussed little bit about that. So, uh, you can refer to this write up by Takashi Kanamar. Okay. So, now <coughs> we move on. So, we introduce the Lyapunov function. Okay. Definition is very simple. So, it is not. <coughs> so, again consider the autonomous system x dot equal to f x. So, this is our standard system. So, system and let x bar be an isolated equilibrium point. So, again we will be studying the stability of orbits of this system around this equilibrium point. So, we may assume, so this is our hereafter we do this just for some simplification in writing we may assume that x bar equal to 0, this we can always achieve by translating this system into a neighborhood of x bar. Okay. So, you can just check that. So, that is not uh, uh, this is no general is the loss of generality. Okay. So, just stick to this thing and let omega be a neighborhood n b d n b neighborhood of 0 which does not contain any other equilibrium point of 1. So, this is possible because we are assuming 0 is isolated. <coughs> so, a function, so this is a definition, a function 
So, all our analysis now is restricted to that neighborhood omega. So, we <coughs> define functions and other objects on that omega. So, v from omega to r. So, a real valued function defined on that <coughs> neighborhood of the origin omega is called positive definite respectively negative definite. So, any real valued function defined on omega respectively negative definite. So, this is definition. if v x is positive respectively v x negative for all x in omega and x not 0 and v of 0 0. Okay. So, this is so I am not putting any other restrictions like continuity and other things that those things will come as you go on. Now, this just this is a real valued function which takes only <coughs> positive values except at the 0 or negative value if it is negative definite. Okay. So, now definition of the Lyapunov function. So, this is very useful tool and it has been even adopted in other situations. Okay. A function v from omega to r which is c 1. So, it is continuous differentiable and derivative is also continuous all partial derivatives <coughs> is called a Lyapunov function for the system 1. Okay, so, that is so that is where the system now enters otherwise just it is a real valued function right. So, what is the connection with 1 if okay, so two conditions let me write 1 v is positive definite definite in omega. So, that is the previous definition and second one that is connection with uh, the system 1. So, del v dot f. So, del v is gradient of v. So, this is by definition. So, this is f is coming from the system. So, this is nothing but del v by del x 1 into f 1 plus etcetera. So, we are in n dimensional situation. So, remember v is a function from omega to r. So, it is a <coughs> function of n variables. Okay. So, now this is a real valued function okay, uh, for all x in omega. So, this is less than or equal to 0 in omega. So, at all points in omega we require that this <coughs> gradient v dot f. Okay. So, this is scalar product and that is what I am defining. So, this is a vector and f is also a vector okay. grad v is a vector. So, this is the vector del v by del x 1 etcetera del v by del x n and f is the vector f 1 f 2 f n. So, I am taking the scalar product of those two vectors at every point in omega and we require that this is less than equal to 0. Okay, so, that is where the given function is related to 
the system via the second condition. So, now theorem. So, these concepts were introduced by Lyapunov uh, <coughs> in 1912. This is stability theorem. So, suppose one the system one possesses A Lyapunov function, then zero is stable. Okay. So remember again by our notation zero is an equilibrium point of one, and so if as and when the system 1 possesses a Lyapunov function, 0 is stable. If in addition, if in addition, so now we strengthen little bit the second condition grad v dot f. So, again look at the definition grad v dot f. So, that is again a function defined on omega to the <coughs> real number. So, this is a real valued function. Uh, <coughs> defined on omega, I want this is negative definite. In omega, then zero is asymptotically stable. So, now you clearly see what role the Lyapunov function plays as far as stability and asymptotic stability of any equilibrium point of the given system plays. Okay. So, that is that is the importance of Lyapunov function and proofs are very easy and they use simple calculus. Okay. It is not uh, <coughs> uh, very deep analysis, but you can already see the interplay between analysis and uh, the differential equation. So, I have stressed this point again and again in at many situations and here is another situation where you see that interplay very clearly. Okay. So, proof <coughs> So, again you go back to the definition of stability and asymptotic stability, I will not recall that here. Okay. So, <coughs> so consider the sphere. So, this is in n dimension sphere set of all x uh, in omega okay. mod x is equal to epsilon. Okay. So, let me just y a. Let me talk. put set of all x and since omega is a neighborhood of the origin, so I can choose small epsilon such that this is in omega for some epsilon positive. Okay. So, so to speak, so here is it is a simple diagram, I okay, will put omega here and this is the origin. So, I am putting this body. Okay. So, we will be working in that particular neighborhood. Okay. So, V being continuous, V being continuous will have a positive minimum. This is the because V is positive definite by definition we will have a positive minimum 
So, let me call this S epsilon okay, some notation uh, on S epsilon. Okay, call it m. So, m is positive and it is the minimum. So, this is S epsilon. Okay. So, again by continuity again since V 0 is 0, V is continuous. So, we can choose delta positive and delta less than or equal to epsilon such that V is strictly less than m on S delta. So, let me again <coughs> stress this thing what does this mean? So, this this means that is V of x is uh, strictly less than x for all mod x equal to delta. Okay. So, that is let us go back to the previous page. So, this so delta will be somewhere here. Okay, so, this is delta and I am choosing delta so that uh, the v will be strictly less than and remember m is the minimum of v on the bigger sphere mod x equal to epsilon. Okay. Now, pick now pick any x 0 such that mod x 0 is strictly less than delta and so you start your orbit and consider a solution x t of 1 our system with x 0 equal to x 0. So, I am now starting the orbit in the ball of radius delta and we would like to show that this orbit through x 0 remains within x epsilon and that proves the stability. So, wish to show wish to show so the r positive orbit okay orbit is contained in uh, mod x less than or equal to epsilon and this proves stability. Okay. So, implicitly I am assuming that the solution x t of 1 with x 0 equal to x 0 exists for all t positive. Okay. So, this is a standard assumption that I have been telling. So, that is so, then we would like to show that the positive orbit. So, this is remember positive orbit through x 0. Okay. So, that we would like to show. <coughs> so, once we show that thing that is through the stability. Okay. For this thing consider V of x t. So, now we are bringing in the and V of. So, you compose the solution x with this real valued function v, the v Lyapunov function v. So, you get another uh, a function from the real line into the real line. So, that is the composition of v and x 
and this by fundamental theorem of calculus one variable calculus. So, this is 0 to t d by d s of. So, this you have already seen many times ok. I am just applying that. So, this is fundamental theorem of calculus. So, this remember this. So, just you see how simple things in calculus are utilized. Now, the second uh, hypothesis come into picture. So, by chain rule, okay, so this is another thing from calculus. So, d by d t of v of x t is nothing but d v by d x 1 x 1 dot plus d v by d x 2 x 2 dot plus etcetera plus d v by d x n x n But remember x is a solution of system 1. So, this is nothing but d v by d x 1 f 1 plus d v by d x 2 f 2 etcetera. And this is f and this is nothing but del v dot f that is what we defined and by our assumption this is less than or equal to 0 in by condition 2. Okay. So, now if you put back this as <coughs> so remember in the integrand we have this expression and now by chain rule I have computed the, uh, this one and shown that is less than or equal to 0 and again now you go back. So, here you see the in the integrand I have that derivative. So, that will be so, therefore, v of x t minus v of x 0 uh, is less than or equal to 0 by that integral or so this is v of x t is less than or equal to v of x 0. And remember, x 0 is chosen uh, within that <coughs> uh, ball of radius delta and by our choice this is less than m and this is minimum on the sphere mod x less than or equal to m and that proves that mod x t is less than or equal to m uh, epsilon for all and that completes the proof. Okay. So, that so stability is one part. So, stability is easier. So, now let us go to the second part. Okay. Second part. So, we have the additional assumption. So, we have uh, grad b dot f is negative definite in omega. So, again let me stress th. so that is grad v dot f at any point x is less than 0 in omega minus 0 and at 0 it is 0. Okay. 
So, this is important, this is we are going to use now. So, <coughs> Uh, again from the first part, from the first part, from the previous uh, discussion, we see that this function, this composite function v of x t a function as a function of t is non increasing. So, again you, you can just use that fundamental theorem of calculus you integrate between any <coughs> any two times t 1 t 2 t 2 bigger than t 1 and you see that that is uh, in non d non increasing. So, that is v of x of t 2 is less than or equal to v of x t 1 for all t 2 bigger than So, we are just concentrating on that positive orbit where this composite function is non increasing and it is bounded below, the function is bounded below. Why bounded below? Because that is our assumption, it is bigger than or equal to 0. Okay. <coughs> so, here we have a a non increasing function which is bounded below and by calculus lemma calculus lemma this limit v of x t as t tends to infinity exists. Okay. So, here I have a non increasing function v of x t which is bounded below that is why this limit exists. And since this is a non negative function okay, call the limit call the limit equal to L. L. So, obviously, L is bigger than equal to 0. So, we have to show that L equal to 0. So, if L equal to 0, you immediately see that since v 0 is 0 and v e vanishes only at 0. Okay. So, if we show L equal to 0, it follows that limit x t as t change to infinity should be 0. Otherwise, if lim this limit is different from 0, then you go back here. So, limit of uh, as t tends to infinity of v of x t will be v of this limit, whatever that limit and that we are a prove if you are going to show that that is going to be 0, then that will get a contradiction. Okay. So, this, this is important. So, once you show that the limit this limit L is 0, it follows automatically that this limit of x t is 0, otherwise we get a contradiction. Okay. So, assume to get a contradiction, assume L is positive. Okay. <coughs> so, again using continuity, again using continuity of v and 
v 0 equal to 0. So, these are simple arguments you should check them using <coughs> your knowledge of calculus. We can choose eta less than or equal to delta such that <coughs> v of x will be strictly less than l power mod x less than or equal to l. So, here is the picture. So, we have this big let me again recall that. So, this is epsilon. So, this is origin and we have a delta here inside and now I am going to choose. So, maybe I'll let me just And remember this <coughs> excuse me this eta is chosen so that we have this uh, condition. Okay. This I can do because I am assuming L is positive and we will show how we get a contradiction on that. And now you consider this this x t consider the orbit positive orbit starting at x 0 and now I take mod x 0 less than or equal to eta and which is automatically <coughs> in uh, in that delta. So, that is no problem okay. and by assumption okay, consider this thing by <coughs> assumption and this construction you see that then O plus x 0 the entire orbit is contained in mod x less than or equal to epsilon. So, this comes from stability. So, this is part 1. So, no problem and now the second part this set of all x uh, I want to show that it is bigger than equal to okay. So, so to what I am claiming is the orbit lies in this green So, it will not go to 0 okay. and this part comes from comes follows from follow from that v of x t converges to l. Okay. So, it, it cannot go beyond it. So, the entire orbit lies in this annulus. So, therefore, O of x 0 lies in the shaded annulus. Okay. So, follow this geometry. So, now we use the second hypothesis now. Okay. So, on the annulus, so that is a compact set on the annulus, what is the annulus? So, eta less than or equal to mod x less than or equal to epsilon is closed and bounded annulus. So, that is compact set the function. So, this is the second assumption grad v dot f is negative and attains its maximum. Its maximum. 
its map. So I want to put a notation for that. Okay, so let minus k. So since it's negative, this is negative. So I just put maximum of grad v dot f at x and x I am taking only on this. So, that is a continuous function and this is a compact set. So, it will have a maximum and since it is negative, so this is k is strictly positive. And now, go back to the <coughs> uh, equation which is given by the fundamental theorem of calculus, then v of x t minus v of x 0 is equal to 0 to t d by d s of v of x s d s and this we have already computed this is del v dot f x and now I know that this orbit remains only in this thing. So, this is just less than or equal to minus k t. Okay. So, <coughs> this is where I am using this definition of k and x the orbit is restricted to only this annulus. Okay. So, all these facts are used here and this I am take replacing it by its maximum which is minus k and the integral 0 to t d s is just t. Okay. So, <coughs> therefore, so remember this is k is positive. Okay. So, as t becomes large, so this is a negative number. So, I can always exceed this x 0. So, if t is large, v of x t will be negative and that is a contradiction because v is a positive definite function. So, this contradiction proves to z equal to 0 and therefore, 0 is asymptotically stable. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> Lyop now also has a theorem for the instability result. So, let me just state that also. So, theorem uh, <coughs> instability okay. Okay. So, suppose a c 1 function. So, this is Lyapunov function if you want to call it for the instability case a c 1 function v from omega to r satisfies the following satisfies 1 in every neighborhood every ball okay every neighborhood of 0 there exist a a point where v is positive Okay. So, I am not requiring V to be positive in entire neighborhood, but in every neighborhood there is a point. So, just let me again call it. So, every neighborhood. So, there is some point call it x. So, where V x is positive. Okay. I am not requiring that V to be positive, uh, positive everywhere in that neighborhood. 
okay. and uh, the second condition that again connecting the function with the system our system is positive definite. So, later on we will see that this condition we do not require <coughs> no we do not require this positive definiteness everywhere we require this positive definiteness only when in the region where v is positive then 0 is unstable. Uh, so, remark, so I will just write that whatever I said now. Condition 2 is required uh, only in the regions uh, where v is positive. So, this was observed by by ch okay. Russian names. So, I may have might have misspelled it, but this is okay. and there are other <coughs> uh, as far as instability results are concerned there are more relaxed conditions given by others. So, this is sufficient for many purposes. Okay. So, let me sketch a proof of this thing and we will consider the examples next time. So, sketch. Okay. So, again the starting point is the fundamental theorem of calculus okay so d by ds of v of x s ds and this we have already seen that this is del v dot f evaluated at x s okay that's that's fine and now you see this our assumption is that this is non negative. So, that means, now v will be increasing. Okay. So, that is the idea. So, I am just sketching it and you start a solution where this is positive. Okay. So, that means, if I start at a point where v is positive, then I remain always bigger than that by this. So, this is an important thing for us. Okay. So, let me just sketch it. So, so again you start with so fix one ball, fix this x such that mod x less than or equal to epsilon, and this is in our omega. Okay, so this omega there, and this is. x epsilon and now I take another one delta here. Okay. So, by hypothesis, so choose x 0 such that mod x 0 is less than delta and v of x 0 is positive. And this is possible by our assumption on V. Okay. So, in any neighborhood, there is a point where V is positive. So, this is the condition 1. Okay. Start the orbit at x. So, that is so this same thing as saying. So, <coughs> So, let x t 
be the solution of our system 1 of 1 with x 0 equal to x 0. Okay. So, then by hypothesis second hypothesis. So, therefore, by the integral fundamental theorem of integral calculus and the assumption we see that this is bigger than or equal to v of x 0. So, this is v of x 0 and call this c and this is positive. Okay. So, this is true for all t bigger than or equal to 0. So, that is important. Okay. So, if I start the orbit at such a point, then v along that path remains bigger than this uh, <coughs> c. Okay. So, let me draw again a diagram. Okay. So, that is. So, now I have this. Uh, so, this is v of x equal to c and I want to remain. So, this is just v of x bigger than equal to c. So, that is the region and part of omega okay, everything is in part of omega. So, the orbit is confined to this region now and that is what that estimate shows. Okay. Now, we would like to show that that orbit has to leave the epsilon ball at later stage. So, we would want to show want to show that for some let me use t star t star positive this x t star leaving the epsilon ball means this is bigger than equal want to show that. Okay. Assume the contrary again. Okay. So, this is just a sketch you have to fill in the details using the simple analysis assume the contrary assume the contrary that the orbit the positive orbit starting at x 0 is contained in this x less than or equal to epsilon. Assume that, assume that. I already know that. So, we know that this orbit x 0 is already confined to this one. So, set of all x such that v x is bigger than equal to c and remember this is positive. Okay. So, in particular this, this is positive okay. and now we are assuming that the orbit is also contained in this ball. So, it is in the intersection. Okay. So, let me put some name for that. So, put k is equal to this set of all x such that mod x less than or equal to epsilon and at the same time I want this. So, by using continuity of v and this compactness of x epsilon, so you see that this is a compact set. Compact set. And important thing is 0 does not belong to k because v 0 is 0. Okay. V 0 is 0. <coughs> Okay, so, if I have forgotten that to include that thing, so include that v 0 is 0, okay, that is always there v 0. So, since it is 
positive there, so we 0 cannot be here. Okay. So, again by continuity, okay, so I will come to that later and now you recall that hypothesis and since now I am, so you see that hypothesis, the second hypothesis that grad v dot f be positive definite in the entire omega is not required, I am just applying only to this set. So, now grad v dot f is positive on k and k being compact set and this is 0 is not there. So, this so let let l be minimum of grad v dot f and now you take x in k and this is positive. Okay. Now, we are more or less done. So, again the same uh, argument. So, then v of x t minus v of x 0 again this is equal to 0 to t. Okay. So, I am writing it again and again, so that you realize it is usefulness and now this is grad v dot f and we are assuming that our orbit is restricted to k. So, this is in k for all t bigger than 0. So, that is important assumption. So, that this whatever value you are taking now they are all in k and in k. So, this is always bigger than equal to l. So, L is positive. Remember L is the minimum of this grad v dot f. Okay. So, in particular, so in particular, so this proves in particular limit v of x t at t to infinity is Okay. So, that does not say anything about the x t as, as of now, but now you see on this set x x less than equal to epsilon. So, this is a compact set in the Euclidean space R n, this is a compact set and v is continuous, v is bounded. So, in particular v is bounded on k because k is a subset of this bounded on k. Okay. And so, if I call this, okay. but this contradicts star. A bounded function cannot have an infinite limit, this contradicts So, why this contradiction? The contradiction comes because we are assuming the orbit is restricted to so <coughs> the epsilon ball in this ball, the we are assuming that thing and to get this contradiction. Therefore, therefore, so the orbit therefore orbit cannot remain within this bound. So, now you again go back and see the definition of the instability and this proves this proves 0 is unstable. Okay. So, you see that 
the question of <coughs> stability or instability in this method of Lyapunov now uh, <coughs> uh, can be analyzed by the construction of suitable Lyapunov functions. Okay. So, again okay, where are the examples? Okay, this we will discuss in the even in the next class. Okay. So, examples of positive definite function or negative definite function, because we have not seen any this far and again these come from linear algebra. Okay. We will see in the next class. So, they come from linear algebra quadratic forms. Okay. So, a quadratic form is of the form. So, this is V of so in n variables x 1 x 2 x n. So, that is V of x is given by a i j x i x j. So, A i j are real and symmetric. Okay. So, these are termed as quadratic forms in n variables and there are well defined necessary and sufficient condition for this V to be positive definite. So, there are necessary and sufficient conditions, necessary and sufficient conditions. So, these are this is Sylvester's theorem in the theory of quadratic forms for V to be positive definite. Okay. So, we will discuss this. So, these are some important class of quadratic uh, positive definite functions and uh, for a suitable uh, for a given system we have to choose a suitable uh, quadratic form. Of course, now not all the time this quadratic forms will work. So, sometimes we have to even take higher order <coughs> polynomials, but in many cases just these quadratic forms will suffice and we will see some examples in the next class. Okay. So, we will discuss examples of positive definite functions, Lyapunov functions and other things in the next class. Thank you.